welcome 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 back to terrain tarot i'm terrain i hope you guys are doing well um if you're new to my youtube channel welcome if you're a returner that emotional I, appreciate you. I really do i really do <laughs> about emotional cycles the emotional you cycle that you're currently in that you do not want to repeat anymore you want to move into new energy new e a new emotional body so let's get to it uh, we want to thank spirit our ancestors our guides for bringing us here and keeping us safe and secure as we move in the direction we want to go for this life journey let's see we have a rose kiss mm, i just heard some kisses are thorny some kisses are thorny. It means they sting. Their your lips are stinging from um, hurtful communication. Is what I'm feeling. The smell is sweet, but the words hurt. So you're in an emotional uh, um, loop of um not necessarily feeling appreciated by words what is this emotional energy father we have great big love definitely this emotional cycle is a partnership relationship um type of love bottom of the deck the land in between you're not sure to if you want to stay or go you know you're not sure if you want to stay or go Whew. i know we don't do relationships so this emotional cycle what i'm feeling is a part of a relationship it is love the high priestess but you have the power because you got the land in between you you have the power to, to change this emotional cycle you do it's in you 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 don't have to do anything that you don't want to do this emotional cycle is serving you in some type of way now, I can just get greedy right now and just be like, what's going on with you? Um, but I think you know. You know what emotional roles, um, the feeling of the rose, the softness, the smell, the romance of it. But again, I, I felt thorny. The lips of this relationship is thorny. Thorny with lies um thorny with deceits deceit thorny with um rebellion i just heard but yes there is a big love there um but it's it's draining you and so you have you have the power you have the high priestess you have the big love but you have the high priestess so as a coach right here in the moment i am i am feeling that take control of your own emotions one if you choose to maintain this relationship you you have to change you because you can't change anyone else so spirit tell me tell me why this relationship is the way it is it's some kind of destiny could be a learning could be a um soul contract somehow learning some type of relationship um opportunities it could also be a soul bond a negative soul bond um an emotional soul bond you guys may be connected through tragedy and you need comfort what other one of the reasons why this connection is still here that's way too many what other connection 
What other reason this connection is still here? What other reason this connection is still here? Nine of Pentacles. It is fulfilling to a certain degree. It is fulfilling and it's financial. Somebody needs the other person financially. Otherwise, they would not be able to make it. You make it together. You're not even comfortable together. You're surviving together. And because you're surviving together, you have created this, um, this exchange bond that may not be serving your sole purpose to be here. What other emotional reason for this relationship? What other emotional relationship? Um, emotional need cycle for this relationship. Four of Wands. Yeah. Both of you have a need to be with each other for different purposes, but it's, it's so related. It's so related, but you still if you're tired of the thorns, I mean, with every rose, you have a thorn unless you take them off one by one, right? They hurt, they prick, but they're, they're also there to protect. So you have the power to, to get out of that, but there is big love. So this emotional cycle is big love. It's part of destiny and it's fulfilling. It's fulfilling financially. And you guys have a lot of still healing to do. <laughs> still compromises. I'm hearing compromises. There's a lot of compromises that don't happen. It's, it's always, it either goes on this side or this side. The weight is either over here with you or the weight is over there with them. There's, there's not necessarily a lot of so let me get um let me get some chakras. Let me see how this relationship can move forward with this emotional cycle, if that's what you choose to do. What is required for this relationship to move more so into the Ten of Pentacles? and create a destiny of prosperity and purpose and passion. Yeah, I feel that you want prosperity, purpose, and passion. Those three things are very prominent. And so we have to get rid of the confusion of what you mean to each other, how you can go about things, make plans together again what i'm feeling is that either one person is doing everything and another person doesn't do anything and there's no plan moving forward there's no communication going back to the communication of the thorns um there's no communication every time there's a communication about moving forward or change or growth or any prosperity purpose it's cut off it's sharp and um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. What else we need to know regarding having this uh, relationship, this partnership, this con emotional connection be about purpose? Mm. So it is soulmate energy. I like that. You have the will of destiny and soulmate. The real doesn't so many. Guys just have to communicate with each other. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, see, joy. It's okay. You're in an emotional cycle. But the emotions are, um, you know, with every relationship, you, there's those ups and downs. But you want to move more so in harmony about the partnership going together and not one person doing something. It's it's almost like 
one person gets a job, then the other person gets laid off. And then that person gets a job and then this person gets injured. And you guys are not like on the same path way together. You're, you're on the same road, but not on the same pathway, if that makes sense. So you're on the same road, but your paths don't always, they have different obstacles for both of you. And you guys are together emotionally in this, you know, wheel of fortune, wheel of destiny type of energy. So let's do some maps. How can we, not how can we, how can you guys, how can you map out a better, um, how can you, that's not what I mean. What's the question, spirit? How can you map out the purpose, the passion, and the prosperity? How can you map out the, pur the purpose, the passion, and prosperity? Wishing well, definitely. Whew, you're wishing well. You want to take this opportunity together to make the wishes that you want. Write down your goals. Write down your wishes for each other, your dreams, your passions. Are you going to get married? Are you going to move in together? Are you going to do these things? Um, what is the best scenario you have? How can life get better than this? I heard that question decades ago. How can ask the universe, ask your partner, how can life get better than this? What can we do to make our lives better, to thrive, to grow, to move forward? What other map? What other ways can we map purpose, prosperity, and passion for within this relationship to rescue and build our dreams? Again, get your dreams together. There's a whole opportunity for you and rescue. Can I have some, some more um, wisdom, some more support knowledge for rescue? What do you mean rescue? Rescue each other? Flying. Or, that's too many spirits. Nope, it's not too many spirits that go for intention, education, and encouragement. Okay. <laughs> Rescue. How do you get rescue out of this scenario? The way you have to fly high is your intentions, education, and encouragement. This is how you would be able to be rescued. So what I'm feeling and hearing from this, the way you move out is to raise your vibration. You want to fly higher than some of the words um, and thoughts and feelings that you have about your partner and about yourself and about your predicament. Have better intentions. Again, get together and set those goals, set those wishes out with, with one another. You have a whole, sow those seeds within your field of dreams. That is your intention. And you're going to do this by encouraging each other to get better education or get knowledge and wisdom on other things. I, I'm i feeling that you want to be educated in certain opportunities that will propel you, but it may be a disconnect between you and your partner regarding how you're going to pay for education and how you're going to do that. But you need encouragement. You need that because there's love here. You know, this is soulmate energy. This is big love. This encouragement should be about big love. And that may be the, that person may be wanting to do something that you're like, what, why are you doing that? And the confusion is that you don't see the, the dream you, because you, you haven't sowed the seeds of the dream and the dream of fields yet. No one has a clear intention of what they want to do with their life. Okay. There's some wishes that still need to be fulfilled.
So that emotional cycle is, in my opinion, not a bad emotional cycle. It's a learning emotional cycle. Um, it does hurt sometimes because you feel like you're going backwards or you're not going forward, you're not thriving. But your intentions about your relationship requires commitment with one from each other. It requires encouragement. It requires you both to be on one page, on the same one accord uh, about each other. Again, you're on the same road, which is perfect, but your paths are different. But your roads do connect. It's like a two-lane highway. One can have trash on one end. You're going in the same direction. One can have trash in one end. And one could have potholes in the other. And you guys want to get to a place where it's smooth pavement, so to speak. A fresh new pavement coming through. Okay? So this is a short message because this is quick, but that's the emotional energy that I'm feeling for this reading. Let me get two affirmations for you guys. I reap the benefits of love. So you guys say you reap the benefits of each other's love and you reap the benefits of the divine love. Okay? You reap the benefits of love. What's reaping the benefits? More love, big love, not having confusion, you know, having a rose kiss that has no thorns because you've taken the opportunity to take them off and enjoy the rose as is. It's sweet beauty. It's It's nurturing. And what else? Let's see what else affirmation you guys have. I heal with laughter. Yes. You guys can heal your relationship with laughter when things come out. Come out. When things come about, um, you know, laugh together. Do more laughing together. Do more laughing together and you can heal with love. Because, you know, love, laughter does heal us. It changes our energy body. It changes our frequency. And also what I'm feeling is that when you're in those moments of healing with laughter, that's when you encourage each other. And that's when you sow those seeds into the field of dreams. Keep your intentions high and right and all your wishes will come true. The Nine of Pentacles is here and this is a destiny love. This is a big love. You guys are soulmate energy. Remove the confusion and the four of wands energy and and know that your education will rescue you from all this type of stuff because you are the high priestess. You have what's in you to change and to grow together. So congratulations on this energy. Just use your intuition and move forward. Congratulations. Hey, you guys, I forgot. Spirit wanted me to get these two cards for you. One is friendship. Nurture your relationship. Just continue confirmation. And this one was Dove. Take a leap of faith. So if you're still here, you and move forward. Congratulations. I'm so happy you're still with me. I'm empty. You're, and I hope you're full, full with information and knowledge. I hope you great gain some treasures within yourself. If this reading resonated with you, give it a like. Please subscribe. You know it helps the channel. We appreciate you. Namaste. I love you.